Uh, what is up? It is your boy Omega SMG coming at you with that uh, project I was telling you guys about. Um, actually, I didn't tell you about. It. I told one of the commenters that I had something big coming up, and this is it. This is a full remake of Upper Echelon. Uh, like I'm not even completely done with it. The Moog sound isn't quite right, and, but everything else is pretty spot on. So um, I'm gonna start breaking down everything I got. Um, yeah, I gotta pop my knuckles, of course. Uh, so I started off with this REFX Nexus Hollywood Brass preset. I turned off the reverb, shortened the release and the decay of it, and put a low-pass filter on it just so that it wasn't so overpowering. And then this is what I got. Make Got to make sure that I'm on the right place on the playlist so that the automation doesn't get in the way. I'll get on to the mixing later. Uh, but this is what it sounds like dry. Like, I thought it sounded really close to what it was, so I left it there. Uh, I'll turn off. I mean, not dry. I meant with all the processing. All the processing I have on it is. Uh, I have D Blue Crusher, just a tiny bit of reduction and uh, some bit lowering or whatever you'd call that, because I'm not sure that's bit crushing. I cut out the bass uh, 200 hertz and below. Um, that was because I originally had the low brass and um, the lead brass, the melody brass on the exact same track. However, uh, that ended up being a problem when like there was a lot of 808 problems so uh i moved it to its own track but i just left this here because it didn't need that low frequency and then i have fruity love filter that works on automation clip it just uses the the chocolate state there the svp i don't know if that's what it is but um this is what it sounds like after all that sweet sweet automation Okay, I brought that one a bit longer than I wanted to, but uh, I'll start breaking down the other tracks. And then got this brass sound, which is that it's a yeah, it's a D, uh, just really, really, it's D three, and it just booms right here. And normally it's layered with this uh, with a church bell that I got from Omnisphere like this <coughs> oh gosh I tried to load Omnisphere please don't crash FL Studio please don't crash in case you guys didn't know I have a 2500k so if I try and open up Omnisphere while I'm recording uh, it's living life on the edge so it, almost, it crashes a lot but um, D4 it's the church bell preset in fact I'm pretty sure that's exactly what um, Travis Scott used on it. Here's my drum set. So use that Metro Boom and Clap from the Razer drum set. And uh, put like a delay effect on it. Well, not quite delay, but uh, made it so that it would lower in velocity. It, it's pretty basic stuff, and I have some variations on it. And every Well, a single variation for the TI track. Uh, then there's this snare pattern, which is pretty close, but not 100%. Uh, I'll play it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, I have automation on this, too. So I'll show you. I'll have to pop it, like, right here. And then Kachow got my automation set. Uh, now I'm going to mute myself and let it play. Oh, didn't hit the mute button. Okay, I used that as an opportunity to adjust my mic gain. Uh, so it's pretty basic, however, um, 
in the song it doesn't come in right away however it's i don't think it's on volume automation i think that it has a high pass filter that's going away and it's just letting more frequency in that's what it is so this is what it sounds like with all of the bass like the the low brass and the church bell and the snares oh yeah and the air horn i'm not going to go over the air horn it's an air horn uh hopefully you guys would know how to do that Okay, I accidentally hit the stopped recording button because, as we know, um, I'm a genius musically. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to go over the other stuff that went in. Yeah, it's air horn, but got it. Hold all the way up. I brought it up to D so that it would fit it a bit more. Then onto the 808. Originally, I used something from uh, busyworksbeats.com, but uh, yeah, I didn't like it, so I went with uh, one of Mr. Difference 808s from Serum. Added some distortion, made a really heavy 808, and, and yeah, it, it's a nice 808. This is what it sounds like. Yeah, it's pretty basic K to weight pattern, like it loops through the song. Um, yeah, Omni Sphere Bell. Drum pattern, I'll go over the hi-hat pattern because this is pretty crazy. Um, got triplet, like one-third steps. This may not be 100% accurate, but I thought it sounded pretty right. Then, um, like regular roll, and another third steps, and yeah. Uh, then kick pattern. It's kick IH from uh, busyworksbeats.com, uh, but it's just, yeah, it's stacked on the 808, and then got that booming hi-hat, uh, yeah, just have it one beat after the snare, so this is what the drums sound like, at least for most of the song, it does change up at the end. Yeah, basic drum pattern. You don't need anything complex. I'll go over the slight variation I added. Um, oh, yeah, the ARP. Uh, yeah, in the melody, there is an ARP in it. Uh, this is what I thought it sounded like. Um, I'll mute myself and let you guys hear it. Yeah, um really basic i'll have to open up omnisphere um i'm i think i'm gonna save this real fast even though i don't think i've made any changes uh hoping that jesus got me covered and it'll actually open up in the omnisphere oh boy please no crash fl studio oh boy okay there it is um it's the pizzicato super dry saw um i lowered the release on this sound a lot because originally it was at something ridiculous like four seconds and i lowered it to 1.6 seconds uh fun fact i actually got this like uh i was remaking this beat and i was listening to it and was like hey that that sound song i mean that sound sounds familiar so uh i go on to um one of the busy works beats videos and he uses this for one of his Travis Scott tutorials. So I'm just like, well, dope. Like, I got myself a free, I got myself a freebie on this one. Um, yeah, Busy Works Beats isn't that good. But he has some pretty good sounds that he just stole from Reddit and resells. Um, so that's an effect. Lots of effects. Um, yeah. So this is what the chorus sounds like. I'm going to mute myself for that.
yeah, it's really basic. Then it goes into more automation. Then um, have the bell going right here, and then got that snare and yeah roll. <coughs> so this is a. I took snare tr because I'm a hundred percent sure this is the exact snare used in the song for bounce. Surprisingly, um, then took this yeah sample. Um, yeah, everyone's heard this. I threw a bit crush on it, and then then brought it up to a D sharp five <coughs> because I thought it sounded right. Um, this is what that roll sounds like. Yeah, um, not perfect, but it's something. And then I have another roll for the Yaz for uh, later in the verse. Uh, like, this is what I thought it sounded like. If you actually have the chant, then feel free to let me know in the description. If if I have something wrong and it's really obviously wrong, make sure you tell me. Because I like hearing I'm wrong. Um, no, all, all jokes aside, uh, criticism helps me get better. Um, so, yeah, I uh, have another love filter envelope right here. It's pretty basic. Um, and then verse goes on, church bell goes off every once in a while. Very, very basic stuff. Chorus cuts back in, and then we get to the TI part, which is um, where the drum variation comes in. So, crap, I didn't even set it to that. I completely forgot. But uh, TI's drums have more bounce to them, uh, like they have um, an, a bounce snare using snare TR and uh, this is what I have the pattern sounding like okay so I kind of think it sounds like it should go here but uh, I think it sounds good here too so I'm not going to mess around with it and try and make it match exactly if it sounds good. Um, but, yeah, this definitely is not in the original song. There's no, like, delay. Like, it doesn't just cut out that delay. I just thought it made it sound better, so I did it. Uh, took creative liberties with it. Oh, well, you can fix it if you want to, but, uh, oh, well, um... Yeah, this is just that low brass. Doesn't have that low pass filter. Doesn't have any of the modifications. It's just pure Hollywood brass. Oh, uh, I do have uh, this filter on it. Oh, well. Um, contact. This is my piano. Uh, it's panned to the right and, well... Um, this is per it's pretty simple. So D A D G D A D A sharp and pan it to the right and boom you got the piano. I have it come in halfway through the verse. This is what it sounds like with it. Yeah, I should have mixed it a bit better. Uh the piano should definitely be for in the mix and then I'm, then I found the Moog sound. It was just the default for Mini Moog V, and I thought it sounded close enough, and I was started to mess around with this. So, uh, this Moog part is kind of where the remake falls apart. Um, like, uh, okay, I should put this on its own track. Uh, but it isn't exactly the most accurate, and I don't have the rest of the stuff just because, like, I got, I got to do other stuff eventually, um, but the rest of it is, like, so basic that I'm not even going to go over it in the video. Um, let's go over the mixing. It's very basic. Um, we got all this on it. Then D Blue Crusher on, uh, oh yeah, that's the yeah chant, um, I got D Blue Crusher on it, which is uh, 
as I've said before, um, Decimort for Broke People. Um, yeah, it's a really simple beat. I mean, lots of stuff to it, and it sounds like there's a lot going on, but it's really pretty simple. Travis Scott isn't, like, back when he produced a lot, he wasn't exactly, uh, the, he wasn't a maximalist or anything, even though he did learn from Kanye West, and Kanye's a maximalist, uh, he learned under, under Jesus, Kanye, so it definitely shows in Owl Sparrow, very, like, the beats that Travis was, was producing were pretty minimalist, and then if they weren't minimalist, they sounded like, like, a college dropout Kanye, uh, but, yeah, it's, it's a remake to, um, Upper Echelon, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure you smash that like button, if you didn't, smash that dislike button as hard as you can, um, make sure you leave a comment, because I like to abuse YouTube's SEO, hopefully this video is over 10 minutes long, because I like to abuse the SEO, um, this is your boy Omega SMG signing off to edit this video, my least favorite part of this entire process.